right, we are back. Hope you're excited if you catch my drift. Mm, stole that from Charles during the commercial break. Helen, I'm hoping you can share a non-meteorological report, a faith forecast, if you will, on what's been happening this week in the downpour of tweets and Instagrams. And can you do it with or without a green screen? Too much weather, Matt. Too much weather. <laughs> <laughs> The show's not even halfway over. Oh, okay. <laughs> Number one. I'm just going to say, folks, Helen, typically you got to, all three of us got to turn the little missile key to launch the, the missiles, the submarine mm -hmm. yeah. keys. Yeah. You, you get the imagery. Ch me and Charles turned that key. Helen, mm -hmm. her hand is on it. She Hence. hasn't turned it yet, though. Yeah. She doesn't like puns. And for whatever reason, she doesn't like weather. I don't like weather. <laughs> like any kind of weather. She likes the opposite of weather, which is what, Helen? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just turn the key. Go. <laughs> tweet, tweet or Instagram number one. All right, number one. From Vatican News. Ooh, okay. on a gram. Um, the caption is, Pope Francis, a pilgrim be pray, be, um, praying before Our Lady of Guadalupe. Oh. Um, so this is a really cool image. Uh, and I wanted to, in honor of today's feast of um, the chair of St. Peter, I wanted to share a, um, some kind of post featuring Pope Francis. So as we know, Pope Francis is in Mexico. Um, and we're kind of glad to have him back in our our neck of the woods here. Yeah, some uh, might refer to this neck of the woods call as North America. Isn't Mexico Central America though? No, it's North America. Uh, it's on the North American continent. I don't know. We, we got, I got the nod from Charles, and yeah, he's he's, right. he's autodidactic he and is. knows everything. That's not what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it means he. Those things are not necessarily. Uh, nah, I think. Think you can I, have I, you you can have self taught yourself a bunch of bunk. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna cut to Charles. We're just gonna let him stand there yeah. in, in his assuredness of what I said was being correct. That's right. Continue though. Yeah. So uh, it's nice to have um, Pope Francis close again. Um, I've been listening to some of the stuff coming out of Mexico. He's been really hitting hard on um, um, on the sinfulness of exploiting indigenous peoples, mm. which is good to hear, um, and uh, just in general. Uh, uh, ministering to people who are, are deeply um, victimized by violence, especially drug violence. Yeah. Um, so that's been, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I'm glad Pope Francis came back. I think he could have easily gone to the United States, made a quick stop in Mexico, and then went back to Rome. Right. And he didn't. He did the U.S. tour with the stop in Cuba, mm -hmm. but then he came back again, which is not an easy trip yeah. for the man. And he just focused on, it's just Mexico, right? Yeah, I mean, he made a quick stop in Cuba, but he's mostly been in Mexico. Yeah. And I think, I think the, the trip in Mexico itself is like at least close to the length that he spent in yeah. the U.S. And I'm I not sure if it's exactly the same, but. That speaks volumes. Yeah, it shows right. that it's, not, oh, you know, whatever, I'm going to go to the, this country for this amount of time and then disregard other parts. He is putting in the time and the effort and showing the people of Mexico uh, especially the indigenous people, especially the people who are subject to violence, that they matter to yeah. him. Yeah. They matter to yeah. the church. Do you have a hashtag? And my hashtag is, they matter. All right. <laughs> so I didn't have a hashtag. <laughs> so what I did is I took part of my sentence. That's what you can do with hashtags, folks. That's right. You can cheat. Yeah, you can cheat. That's Go right. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, number How about two. number two? Yeah, number two is a gram from uh, our good friend James Martin. I like the guy. Um, so Father Martin has been sharing some some posts uh, from Mexico, so are still on the Mexico thing, and he's been, uh, friends of his have been sending, and people from America and stuff yeah. have been sending pictures to him that he's been sharing on his own Instagram account. Uh, so the caption of this photo is, my Facebook friend, Umberto Guzman, sent this photo from Chiapas, Mexico, of thousands of people, old, young, some parents with newborns who can't, who came home from, uh, came from the surrounding mountains to line up as early as 4 a.m. in the 30 degree weather for mass today with Pope Francis. Mm -hmm. So just um, you know, this is wherever Pope Francis goes. This seems to be the effect. Um, people just flock to see him, and it's very inspirational. So my hashtag will be flock to see him, mm -hmm. and also hashtag inspirational. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to make it really hard. You know how hard you make it for me to tweet when you make them <laughs> long hashtags? <laughs> They're so long. I can't oh, I, write I anything. Not, I was never thinking about you, and now I will. You should think my about third, me more. My third one think will be, about me more. My third will be different. <laughs> Helen, I would also say this much. So this is just sort of breaking now as we're filming this episode. There's a video out there on the Internet of Pope Francis, and he's meeting with all sorts of people, and everyone kind of wants to touch him, be blessed by him, interact with the Pope. Mm -hmm. uh, myself, I would want that too. Um, there's a beautiful video of uh, them lifting up a wheel, a boy in a wheelchair, or a kid in a yeah. wheelchair, and him having some time with the, the child, blessing the child. 
However, there's another interesting video that came out today of Pope Francis, and we can kind of recreate this if you haven't seen the video. I'm Pope Francis, which is, uh, you know, again, like a, an honor to play. He's shaking people's hands, and they, they literally, I'm out of lighting, I apologize, they literally almost pull him into the crowd. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. We don't often see Pope Francis getting a little angry. And I actually think this is fantastic. This is wonderful. He's a, he's a human being. Right. We oftentimes look, oh, it's the Pope. He's perfect and everything he does is good. And Jesus gets angry. The Pope gets angry. All human beings have the full spectrum of emotions. And you know what Pope Francis does? He gets pulled in there and he could just be like, whatever. He goes, hey. Yeah. Don't be selfish. Yeah. Don't be selfish. Yeah. And he kind of scolds this person. Mm -hmm. If I'm that person, I'm going to be feeling pretty bad that Ooh, night. Oh, yeah. But it shows that at the end of the day, Pope Francis is a person. Right. And has the emotions of a person. And, and I think it's nice for people to see that. Mm -hmm. And people go, hey, the Pope lost his temper. Yeah. Who doesn't lose their temper? Yeah. I'm who, surprised. Who, who has cameras on them 24-7? Pope right. Francis. I Gonna lose his temper sometimes. And I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised this happened, hasn't happened earlier. Actually. I'm surprised I haven't lost my temper on this show yet. Oh, I, I was talking about Pope Francis getting pulled to the ground. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's the other thing. So, yeah, he, he's an older man. Yeah. And there's a lot of people who want, you know, want him. I, I'm glad he wasn't pulled to the ground. Because yeah. that, you know, you hurt yourself and mm -hmm. he's a broken hip broken or broken head. leg. Right. Right. Um, you know, someone's watching out for him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Secret Service, right? Secret Vatican, Service. Guard. Vatican Guard, Vatican Guard, Swiss Guard, number three, God. <laughs> number three. It's number almost three. over, Helen. It's almost over. It's almost over. Can we get a couple Red Bulls in here, please? Right over here, right here. Just our, got a cup holder. Go our, ahead. Our friends at Crux tweet. <laughs> Sean Allen Jr. reflects on his one meeting with Scalia. Oh. Hashtag Scalia death. Um, so we would obviously be remiss if we didn't. Um, talk about the passing of Justice Antonin Scalia, um, whose funeral mass was held this past Saturday, this Saturday at the National yeah. Shrine in, in D.C. Um, so Scalia was known for his conservative um, uh, influence on the court, but he was also deeply Catholic. So yeah. in this article uh, linked um, in this tweet, John Allen Jr. tells a story of um, his, in, his, his one and only interaction with Scalia, where he really got a sense of just how deep and um, important uh, Scalia's Catholic faith was to him. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if you knew that Scalia's son was a, a priest. I did know that. Yeah. Um, I think in Arlington, the Diocese of Arlington. That's right. It's exactly right. Yeah, and his hero was St. Thomas More. Yeah. So um, just a, a deeply Catholic man, obviously a Catholic funeral. Um, so as a fellow Catholic, we yeah, we, will we miss lift him. him up in prayer. And yeah, hashtag Scalia Catholic. Because I think a lot of people think, oh, well, you know, Justice Scalia. I bet you at the end of the day, how would he like to be remembered as a Catholic or as a, a judge in the Supreme Court? I would be surprised if he chose Catholic. Mm -hmm. I mean, that man was, he wore his faith on his sleeve mm -hmm. um, and a devout person, big family. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like a lot of people have a Justice Scalia story, too. Yeah. John Allen, even our own Charles has one, too. I mean, people who have met him all seem to have really great experiences with him. Mm -hmm. Regardless of whether you agreed with his decisions or not, uh, we, we wish him the best and his family. We, we send our prayers and condolences. Was there a hashtag with that? Yeah, ju hashtag Scalia Catholic. Okay, yeah. Because, again, you know. That's right, you that, said that. That's something that, you know, hashtag Weber Catholic, hashtag uh, Lee Catholic. You know, I, I don't think it's, uh, I have no problem wearing my faith on my sleeve. Um, I don't know how I'd do that. Write it, write we'll it on figure my it out. We'll yeah. figure it out during the break. Folks, blue skies are ahead for Act 3 of The Lens with Catholic TV's resident meteorologist Kevin Nelson predicting record highs in ratings. Stay tuned. <laughs>